Now let's take you to the House of Representatives where what was of interest to lawmakers at Tuesday's plenary was the safety of their colleague, Sheikh Ramadu, who was accused of organ harvesting in the United Kingdom. So to get to the root of the matter, the House of Representatives has now invited Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Onyema, the Acting Comptroller of the Nigeria Immigration Service and the Director General of NIMSI, Aliu Abubakar, shed more light on the circumstances that led to the arrest and detention of former Deputy Senate President Ike Madu and his wife Beatrice at the Kingdom. National Assembly Correspondent Rekia Disa has to story. The news of the arrest of former Deputy President of the Senate Ike Madu and his wife Beatrice went viral on social media. The legislator and his wife were arrested by the Metropolitan Police in London over allegations of organ harvesting. I received this news with shock. The House has now moved Followed to investigate the incident. Abdullah Habdul Kadri from Bauchi State comes with a motion of urgent national importance on the need for the Parliament's probe into the allegation. The motion aims to achieve is justice and fairness for all. We cannot have a situation where a simple allegation that has not been thoroughly investigated will result in a high-ranking public officer who has served and is still serving the Nigerian public, the Nigerian state, and he has a diplomatic passport, Mr. Speaker. So we cannot allow this to happen. Other contributors say there is the need for Nigerians to exercise caution while speaking on the incident. I plead with honorable colleagues to support this motion to lend our voice to call on Nigerians to be cautious of how they uh, tarnish people's image just for something. Because the, the, the authorities from London or anywhere, or Metropolitan Police, somebody reported to them, we're not saying they should not do investigation. They are doing their work. We should not even condemn our disaster because they are going to judge based on documents and evidence before them. Facts are facts. And any finding or any action to be taken should be based on facts. And nobody should be subject to any jeopardy, or even a double one, when those investigations are not complete. We will all do well to remember that a criminal charge does not constitute a conviction or conclusive proof of guilt. This is merely the beginning of a judicial process to substantiate the facts of the allegation and gather sufficient evidence to sustain the charges therein. The House also calls on Nigeria's High Commissioner to the United Kingdom to ensure that the embattled senator and his wife are provided with the consular services they require. Joke Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.